Well, well, what's going on guys? Lucas here with Love Comes Gaming and we are back with another episode on our modded Sky Island Survival Project Ozone 3. That's what it's called. I almost forgot what it was actually called. I've got a new sword. It's actually a pretty decent sword. It is called The Ender. 7 attack damage but 2000 durability. I got it from our loot bags that I may or may not have set up off camera. So I've got our loot bag opening system. I just have them dumping into all of these um, storage crates and it's getting very unorganized very quickly. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I have a small idea that I think will work. But yeah, so like there's a little glitch going on with these swords. If I take two of these swords that are like, they, they give me a brand new sword, even if they're already 100% dead. Let's see if I can find some smaller ones, less durability. So yeah, I've got two swords here with Okay, what appear to be no durability, but the durability actually says 2,000. Oh, so this is like micro eye for the durability. I don't know what that is. No idea. I'm going to put these back, and I'm going to pretend like that never happened. Uh, you, go back. So yeah, I have a small idea what we're going to do here, but last episode I was trying to figure out our storage situation with all of our items over here. I'm getting loads of diamonds, loads of emeralds. These are the items I need to sift out into our storage system. I'm going to upgrade our servos so we can actually hold more and transfer faster. It's not actually that difficult. So like we were looking at the reinforce um, servo, which is the electrum ingot, which isn't the easiest to get, but I can craft electrum blend from silver and crushed gold which is super easy. I took all of our ingots, threw them into our pulverizer, and now I've got all of this stuff, including one titanium dust. But yeah, I've got crushed aluminum, gold, copper, platinum, everything. But I feel like we can probably go higher than that. So if I look at this one here, I could probably smelt up. I can do it in an alloy smelter with copper ingot, silver ingot, and redstone which I feel like it's going to be better because we can just go faster and we can actually filter out more. I can use the induction smelter with signal with blend. Oh, but I don't have to stabilize redstone bucket. What about the resonant servo? Endury and endurium. Yeah, that's how it, that's how it's said. So once again, not the easiest thing, but Alloy smelter, I can do the Endurium base with sand, and this is created from platinum, lead, and ender pearls. I feel like I've got enough ender pearls. Sixty-three. Yeah, I got plenty of ender pearls. Well, plenty, enough to make up some of that um, resonance servos. So I should be able to make these up in this episode. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. First thing I need to do is make up our alloy smelter. Which looks like a decent amount of work. Grains of infinity. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. Flint and steel, and then I need bedrock, and I want to say that there's bedrock down here, yes. So if I light that on fire, will it give me what I need? Yes, it will. Beautiful, grain of infinity. I will pop back up here now. Iron bars, iron, okay, that's easy. So if I go grab myself my iron... I thought I had some iron bars somewhere. I do, but that's fine. I'll just make up some new ones. And that gets me my simple machine chassis. I need a furnace and a bucket. And just like that, I should have my simple alloy smelter. So I imagine it needs power, so I'm just going to come over here quickly. Okay. What kind of power? 
All right, I need some kind of generator then from Ender IO. So I need more of this stuff. So I'll just grab some of this and try to make up our generator. Oh yeah, also, I'm really sorry about the poor video quality in the last episode. I may or may not have accidentally recorded in 15 frames per second. And 15 frames per second does not look very good at all. All right, that should have been enough time for you to pop off. Beautiful. All right, get me out of here. All right, and just like that, I can move all these items over to make our simple sterling generator. So if I put this down on the ground, oh, I don't know. Over here. Oh yeah, this is the other thing I was doing. I upgraded some cobblestone generators, so I have diamond tier, and they are pumping into this compressed, oh. Pumping into this compressed cobblestone or comp compacting drawer, and I may, I actually, I had to throw upgrades into it. I threw upgrades into a lot of these. Yeah, like this one's got a bunch of upgrades. So I got to do that to this thing here. But I want a lot of compressed cobblestone because I know there's a portal that I need to make out of compressed cobblestone. I don't know if it's just the simple ones or like the really heavy ones. So I figured I'll just let this thing compress as we go. But I'll throw this over here. Generator. Alloy smelter. Boom, it's got power. Okay, what do I need again? Lead, platinum, and ender pearls. So let me grab a bunch of ender pearls. Let me grab a bunch of lead. This is magna steel. That's got to be. That's not it. There's platinum. Lead's right there at the bottom. So if I come over here now and throw ender pearls, lead, platinum. Oh, they're doing something. Enderium base. That is exactly what we need. I'm going to let these things smelt up just because I don't really need any of this. Actually, I'm going to do half of everything and put it all back. Now, Enderium base, so servos. I needed to mix that now with sand. Actually, I remember that. I need sand. And 10 hours later... We end up with our Enderium ingots. Beautiful. So if I come over here to my beautiful chest, grab my servos. I'm glad there was two there. And put these next to these. Resonance servo. <laughs> yes. Okay. So let's do it on this one first, actually. Let's, um, oh, I got to sift a bunch of stuff. Let me make a bunch of hammers. That way I just, I can easily find out what I need to sift between the two places, or when I need to filter out, I mean. Throw these hammers in. Do it again. And we should start seeing... Yep. We're making gravel now, so that's going to start filling over here. I fell in. All right, so now we're going to start having ores fill into this chest here. Yes, we are. So I want to take this out the back and bring it next to our other line going to our storage system over there. So I'll be back in a minute. I know there's another stack of pipes I made off, off camera in our chest. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough, but I will get this ran over to where I need to. So in theory, if I connect this up to this line right here, anything I throw into that line will go right into our storage system, I hope. So let's throw our servo on here. Oh, so much more room. I can ignore all this stuff apparently. Let's enable that. Actually. Don't enable that. Whitelist. Ooh, that was unfortunate. Dang. Okay. Well, we got that. That. And then I know I need to do diamonds and emeralds as well. So. Let's 
emerald and diamond. So now that one's filtering out everything there. Is redstone being filtered? No, it's not. Rock candy. Let's filter out all this stuff too. <clears throat> now all we have to worry about are the ores, and they should be able to go just like this. No, like that. So now if I... Oh, that's fine. So I got iron, silver, nickel, copper, aluminum, lead. Okay, we got lots. Let me just do something like that. Gold, platinum, tin. Make that ignored. So now it's actually going to start filtering these things out. And should anything be left in here once it's all filtered out, I'll know exactly what I need to put into our storage system. Beautiful. So now we got our filters that are sucking things out really quickly too, which is awesome. 64 items at a time. Um... That's fixed. Let's work on our storage solution now. So, you may have seen at the beginning of the episode, I had RF tools open. Because in here, there is a storage scanner. And this basically, if I hover over top of it, it says this machine will scan all nearby inventories. And then I can search for items in those inventories. So I think that means that I can like have that near this area. And then all of my items in this area will end up inside that storage scanner. So I'm going to try making that first just to see if that is how it works. It's pretty easy. Ender pearls, machine frames, and redstone. So this... Oh, Morganine? What's Morganine? Okay, so I need... Morganine ore. Which comes from where? Okay, so I need this Landia portal marker. Landium ingots. All right, let's go to the nether, see if I can find some landium ore. So I got loads of chocolate, loads of pickaxes. I'm just going to go in here, and I am going to mass mine an area, hoping I can find this stuff. Come on, please load. Oh, go away. Okay. So I got my chocolate. I don't care about the experience. I've got golden apples, apparently. 36 of them. Okay. Is that it? Landia more. This is what I wanted. I can't harvest it. I need a different pickaxe. Gosh, it just isn't easy. Okay, so these pickaxes, it said I needed to have an obsidian level pickaxe. Is that like its own thing? Obsidian pickaxe? Three obsidian. Okay. Okay. Let's try it. So, obsidian pickaxe. Let's see if this works. It says harvestable. Yes, it is. Okay. So I need four of these things. And of course, I lost one because I broke... Oh, one more. Yes, thank you. Smelt up my Landium ore. Okay, so I got my Landium ingots. Now if I go search for portal again, it's this thing. Two, two... Okay, that's easy. So I just need... One, one, one... Two... Now what do I do? Once placed a few blocks above ground, activate by killing an undead mob. Huh. So if I put this right there. Ok. 
careful not to blow up a creeper. Hi, Zombert. Come here, boy. Oh, you horrible person. Well, let's try that again. Down here we go. Don't blow anything up. Make a bigger platform to stand on. Actually, is this the top half slab? It is. I don't want any mobs to spawn. Okay. Come here, zombie. I just... Oh! Oh, it's on! The portal's on right now. Was it on that whole time? How does... Oh, God. I should have put armor on. I can't make armor. What's going on? <gasps> As if. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And let's go again. All right. So now I know what to expect. Look for the portal. Don't walk into it. It's right there. So why I got all excited was, I need feathers for our mob farm to make it better, the fan upgrades. So th this place spawns sheeps, sheepy tons, sheepy sheeps. So it should spawn, what's going on here? Hold on, I'm gonna add a waypoint. We're gonna look around for a little bit. I need to find, what do I need to find again? Morganine and hard carbon. Which is graphite and diamond, so that's easy. So I'm gonna go find a cave and <gasps> chickens. I will I should try to figure out a way to capture these things. Mob A mob imprisonment tool. Plastic, okay. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, we'll work on that next time. Some kind of chicken farm. I'm just going to kill as many as I can right now. Morganine ore. That's what I need. Um, Let me get some light down here. Morganine ore. This is exactly what I need. Please. Harvest level 5. I can't mine this. No! What's this harvest level? Okay, I guess I'm gonna go back. I wanna mark this cave. Morgan 9. Oh, that thing's pretty. Hey, yeah, there's a chest in here. Aquamarine. Bone and iron. We do have a slight problem. That I'm getting shot and I have no health. No, no, no. No, no. Please, please. No! Get me out of here. Get me out of here. We're good. We survived. Okay. I need food. Wait just a minute. Why did I put the portal up here? You're s I th did it break something? I thought I had a chest here. Well, that's kind of annoying. It's not even directly above where I had it before. Oh, okay. So guys, I've been messing around with a bunch of stuff. I'm not really succeeding in any way. To be able to mine this stuff, I need cobalt. And to mine cobalt, I need 
cobalt. Like, yeah, I don't get it. Check this out. So like, so here's cobalt, right? If I get close to it, oh, I can mine it with this platinum. Thank you. But it says harvest level cobalt and it is cobalt. So I didn't know how, how I was actually going to get it, but I just tried making a bunch of random pickaxes and uh, obsidian wasn't working. Steel wasn't working. So the next one I tried was platinum and that seemed to have done the trick. So I grab a bunch of this cobalt and we will head back and try to make some of this. It's actually not even cobalt that we need. We need many, Manilin. Manilian? Manilian. I don't know. And in order to make this stuff, I need to do it in a smelter, or I could do it in the alloy with Aridite, which is... I haven't even looked at Aridite yet. Oh. Oh, I might be able to sift for it. I can sift for it in crushed netherrack in an iron stiff and sieved. Awesome. Okay. So we shall do this right now. Why isn't anything being sucked out? It should at least go to here. Oh, I didn't make it whitelisted. Okay. Yep, I messed up. I messed up hard. Hey, you guys can all get out of here. So that gets me the cobalt ore. Now this should... Nope, I want to smelt this up, not that. That should give me the ardite ore. These things together inside my induction smelter. I need more coal. But... That and cobalt. Yes, that's working. I need coal. And that gets me the Manialin I ingot. Only two? I thought that was going to give me four. Okay, I need more Ardite. Ardite. That stuff. No more in there. Darn. Alright. It's all three pieces of our Manil Manialin. I, I can't say it. Of our purple ingots, I need more wood. Oh, come on, that's not how you make it? I, I, I have to do Tinker's Construct with this? Are you... Oh, why don't I look into anything? Okay, I guess I'll try making this melter, which is a... I need seared tank. Or seared brick. I don't get it. The only way to get seared brick in this pack is... I can't even... I can't use grout. I can't... Okay, I sh Okay, I should be able to make a porcelain melter. I hope. All I need is unfired porcelain, which if I, yes, it's just clay and bone meal. So I'll just keep going on making some clay. And hopefully I can get this done still. And to save you guys the agony of what happens to like 40 minutes on my end, I decided to cut individual parts out of me actually building the smeltery. And here I made the porcelain smeltery. I'm trying to figure out the casting bench trying to throw my pickaxe on there, trying to make the mold for the pickaxe head, not working. So then I look into how I'm actually going to do it. So it's like, oh, I need seared brick. I need to make the actual Tinker's smeltery. So then I start going hands down brick after brick after brick, trying to get all these bricks out in order for me to, here we go, start making all the seared bricks that I need for our smeltery that you're going to see me build right here. And this in itself took so long just to get all the brick, bricks gathered and everything built, but here we go. Finally. Oh, I've been placing so many blocks inside this thing. I've made a 
tank controller, a furnace controller, a seared heater, a melter, alloy tanks. Ah, oh, okay. Well, we finally got that working. Let me drop off all this unnecessary stuff, I guess. Just like that. Okay. Now, in theory, if I put my let's go for iron pickaxe. Actually, do I have a stone? I do have a stone. Stone pickaxe right there. Let me grab some gold. That's kind of cool. You can see the actual gold ingots in there. And they're going to slowly melt down. Once they're fully melted down, we should see the actual layer of gold, like gold liquid in here. Yeah, there it is. Now. <laughs> I thought it wasn't working there, so that's why I built this whole thing. How do I make a one of these? I need a pickaxe head cast. Oh, I think I finally found it. Stencil table. Boom. Pickaxe head pattern. Okay, what do I do with the pickaxe head pattern now? Let's go into here. Iron pickaxe. Something like this. To craft a part, simply put its pattern into the left slot. The two remaining slots hold the material you want to craft your part out of. <gasps> Wooden pickaxe head. Do I want to do it? I kind of do. I am so nervous that if this works, all of that would be for nothing. Sorry. All of that would be for nothing. Here goes nothing. Is it actually gonna it's it's actually gonna work. Oh my gosh. That was all for absolutely nothing. I spent an hour and a half trying to get all of these bricks seared. Oh I feel so bad. So bad. It took me so long to find this stencil table. That's what I get for never researching a mod. There it is. Mining level cobalt. This is su supposed to be mining level 5, not cobalt. I'm going to cry. Okay, guys, so I have come way too far with this pickaxe to just not try. So I'm going to get down here. I'm going to try to pick up this Morgantine, Morganine. Of course, I don't have any torches, but I think it's up here. Not harvestable. Gah. I'm still so mad about that. No way. No way. I should have just freaking continued mining. Garfax. I can mine Garfax here. Okay. Well, stick around, guys. I'm going to mine about five to six pieces of Garfax so I can make myself a pickaxe. Okay, so Garfax ore goes into here. Let me just make a bunch of these blank things to get rid of all this gold. And finally, the rod. And once that bad boy hardens up, there's my three tools. Which I can come over to here, make myself a lovely Garfax pickaxe. Alright, let's go back to our Morgan 9 and get that. Moment of truth. Harvestable. Morgan 9. All right. Let me grab up onto this and then I'll go back home and start working on our storage system that I was wanting to work on at the beginning of the episode. All right. Now we are actually getting our Morgan 9 ingots. 
So let's go back to our RF tools, and I want the storage scanner. So it's just this guy, so I need four of these and hard carbon alloy, which is graphite and diamond. Okay, so graphite, charcoal, smelted down. Okay, that's super easy. I can do that. So if I go my alloy smelter, put my coal in here. Now I want diamond and I want graphite. Okay, that seems to be working. Oh, but it took all my graphite. So I guess it's two graphite per diamond. So it gets more of that going up over here. Oh, that's perfect. I only needed two. Beautiful. Okay. So now I've got the two of those. I got four of those. What else did I need for that bad boy? Storage scanner. Gold nuggets. Boom, we got our machine frame. Next. Just like this, and that should be just about everything. So if I go like this, storage scanner. Then I come over here, and I put this. I need to have a center to this area. Actually, I wonder how far it will work. Okay, let's try putting this right here. I need power, of course. Do I have another one of my RF emitters? Transmitters? Yes, I do. That is working. Okay, scan. Scan. Oak chest. Small storage crate. Oh my god, there it is. All of my stuff. Can I search for, let's say I want to search for gold. Gold. So that's, that tells me there's gold in here and here. Oh my god. This is going to be perfect. This is exactly, I mean, it's not 100% perfect. But I could do a whole bunch of these small storage crates or even the larger storage crates. And I just search through it like this. All right, yeah, this this works great. One of our small storage crates, we've got eight apples. Can I find that one? I'm guessing it's like one of the end ones over here. There it is. There is a major problem with my storage system because it should be going to there first, but it's not. Like, look, at if I have all this aluminum, I've got three stacks of aluminum now. I should be able to click. Yeah, it's all gone. That means there's room inside this panel, but it bypasses it completely. And it's not going here first. I've got it going from these furnaces down and under right here. Yep, so down and under. Then it goes this way across and then over here around to all of the storage here. Right? None of these lines are connected before these stores or before these furnaces. So I'm not sure why it's doing that. Really, I have no clue whatsoever. I do like this option though. Just do a whole bunch of small storage crates. Hide that room over here somewhere and have access to this panel. I think that could be a good option. Probably one of the cheaper options. There the this mod pack or this uh RF tools does have automatic crafters but also I could do this modular storage as well which is another machine frame which isn't a big deal anymore let me make one of those so I can show you guys what that looks like so what this modular storage does let me get over here so I have the same power I can actually put a drive oh shoot I need the drive All right, so with a level three, tier three storage, I get 300 stacks of items, which isn't that many, but there is a way to cycle to the next storage module. So if I can figure out how to use this mod properly, I can feed, let me grab my ducks. So I just disconnected from this side over here because this site's completely full. So it should start feeding items or all the overflow into here, which it does. 
and it shows everything. In fact, yeah, just like this. So it will hold 300 stacks of items on this one drive, that is. So maybe this is actually our better option to go with, just because then I don't need to keep all of these. Yeah, I'm actually leaning towards that now. If I can figure out how to use these storage modules, that'll be perfect for what I need. So I've completely disconnected this module and that module. Everything is only going into here now. Um, it might almost be time to start looking into new docks as well. That's going to be a real pain in the butt to have to swap out for everything. But it's going to look a lot better around here, I think. One thing I want to do before the end of the episode is we got all these feathers. Where'd they go? Feathers. I want to make these fan upgrades which is ingots and three feathers. So if I do boom, 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 with my feathers spread across here, it gets me five fan upgrades. So let me drop down to the mob farm and apply these to our fans. And that should increase the efficiency of our mob farm. So now if I take a peek inside here, hopefully I don't get blown in. So there's almost fully covered. There's a couple one foot sections. Don't do it. Don't you dare. Okay, we're good. Next I have to worry about are these bats. These bats are causing problems down here. They are lowering the mob rates, of course. So I think either I have to go... I don't know. Can I have fans that go higher up maybe? I don't know. All I know is that this is more efficient now and I'm happy about that. Let me close this back up and we'll pull away. Oh shoot. And now that mob farm should be spawning in a lot more mobs. I can actually see them dying now. Look at that. They're just dying like crazy. Beautiful. Okay. So we'll do one more upgrade on each of those fans. That should cover everything. I will get this. Oh, look at this coming in. Iron ingot. If I do this. Craft a stack. Oh, it just puts it into my inventory. I was kind of hoping that it would automatically do it over here. That'd be kind of cool. I know there is a crafter in this mod. Crafter tier 1. Which, again, isn't that bad since we have all these materials now. And I wonder if this allows me, can handle up to two recipes at once. So that would allow me to craft it. Ooh, I could do a crafter for this. So I no longer have to worry about feeding in hammers to here. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, I will have to do that. Probably do that off camera because I have been recording now for just about four hours, guys. It has been insane trying to get this one working. I don't know if we even got that much accomplished, but we did get Tinker's Construct all figured out and working. We got a storage system planned anyways and all the blocks for it ready. We went to a different dimension and found some really cool blocks to make this pickaxe and make our best pickaxe ever. I'm probably gonna make a Morganine pickaxe just because it's a level six, I think, so I can mine even more stuff. We got our mini smeltery going. Um, we upgraded our mob farm, which has been a long time coming. And we organized our filters here. So, I mean, aside from this stuff, because this is from me doing the netherrack sifting to get the ardite ores, I probably won't be doing any of that again. So it's not a big deal. I'll probably just pull this stuff out myself and put it into our bulk storage. But yeah. That's actually, thinking about it, we got a lot accomplished in this video, guys. I hope I can get it down to under 30 minutes. If not, sorry for the longer video. If I do, wow, congrats to me. But guys, leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought of the video, what you think of the channel, and other things like that. Also, drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really means a lot to me. It really helps out the channel. But guys, most importantly, please, do not forget to have a lovely day. Bye, guys.